What's up guys, I'm at SEMA in Las Vegas. I'm at the Chevy booth, and they have a pretty badass Chevy Colorado pickup truck. This is their ZR2, it's a collaboration with AEV. And this thing is awesome, man. I love it. Or for one, I like the color. That desert tan look is badass. And it just has all kinds of cool parts on it from AEV. You got a AEV steel front bumper with like a stinger bar here. You got Vision X LEDs. You got a worn wench in there, tucked inside. I like the fact that these are steel and not aluminum. So you can bash on them pretty good. There's skid plates underneath there to protect the underside. And there's a look at the uh, DSSV, the dynamic suspension spool valve. Pretty cool. There's the AEV wheels with the uh, bead locks. Pretty badass. There's the AEV, uh, what you call it, snorkel. It's running a 2.8 liter Duramax turbo diesel. It can tow up to 5,000 pounds. It's got electronic locking differentials, front and rear. You got rock sliders, so you can uh, go over boulders without tearing up your vehicle. There's the rear DSSV. I like this modular rack system, that is cool. You got an awning up top mat tracks to get out of the uh, sticky situations in sand and mud and stuff like that they got their high lift jack tucked away inside there you got more leds back here all kinds of aluminum boxes this is uh, alubox.com here's an arb fridge that's pretty cool let's see if we can take can we look inside there we go keep everything cool when you're out camping or four-wheeling very nice it's on a slider too, that's cool. Another car cargo box up top. And this thing's totally modular, you can put it any way you want. Check out this rear bumper. This is AEV's design here. So this is a steel bumper with LEDs in it, but this is kind of cool, look at this. So it goes all the way under, underneath and ties into the frame. So when you're leaving rocks and stuff, when it bashes into here, it's not gonna jack up your vehicle. This is kind of cool, AEV installed, like a little, I don't know what you call this, like an access section in the back of the truck. You can plug in USB devices if you want to charge something up. You have an air compressor so you can air down or air up your tires. You got fresh water, so if you want powered, pressurized water, you can uh, hook up a, a water line here and take a shower. You have your camp lights, so if you have um, all your lights plugged into here, you can turn them on and off at the campsite. You got, there's your air compressor hook up right there. And here, this is kind of cool, you can lock everything up, so uh, you don't have to worry about anything getting accidentally turned on. Or if you leave the campsite, you can lock it up, or if you're just driving, you want to lock everything up. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, and it even tells you how much water you got left in your tank. And of course, there's your pressure for your air. Here's your spare fuel tanks. It's nice and lockable so people don't steal them. But yeah, there you go, man. That is a really nice looking diesel crew cab mid-size truck by Chevy. I'd buy this thing in a heartbeat. I think it's awesome. I'm sure there's gonna be haters out there. They're gonna say that this thing is trying to be like a Tacoma. But you know what? American made with a diesel engine lockers front and rear that's a winning combination in my book